Hey folks, AJ here. We're back at my famous workbench. Today we're highlighting a retrofit kit for the old Kohler 73533-AA pump system. The system had a built-in heater inside the pump. As you can see the corrosion on this heating element, this is one of the major contributing factors of why these systems are failing. These heaters do not belong inside of pumps. Now I'm going to show you a retrofit kit that we're offering to replace the 73533-AA Kohler Whirlpool pump. The 73533-AA had a built-in circuit board that controlled the system that was located in the base of the pump. It also had this control button to turn it on and off. This pump had two speeds, a low speed and a high speed. Two speed pumps are now obsolete in our industry. Everyone's using variable speed pumps. This new system that's gonna replace this old one is gonna be a variable speed system. So the new pump looks like this. The unions line up perfectly. The only thing you're gonna to need to do is create yourself a base so you can get the unions to line up perfectly. Here's a picture of an installed one in a customer's house. You can see how I use some plywood to shim up the motor to make the unions connect. This is the new control box that's gonna be operating the new variable speed pump. It's basically replacing the circuit board that was mounted underneath the old motor. Let me show you how everything plugs together. The male portion of the plug is gonna plug into a GFC protected outlet and the pump is gonna plug into the female portion. Here's what the new button looks like. You have your power button, which turns it on and off. You have your up and down button, which controls the speeds. And then you have your wave and pulse button. Let me show you how everything goes together. Here's the original button that was controlling that pump. And here's the new button. As you can see, it'll cover the hole that's drilled inside your tub. The old button had a lock nut on the back of it. Just thread that out and pull it through the hole. When plugging the control button into the control box, make sure the pins and the arcs are in the right direction. Push it all the way in so that clamping system slips over the top. So the new button just has a peel and stick application. All you're gonna do is just peel off this red covering of this two-way sticker that's underneath here and stick it to your tub. The new button also comes with an alcohol wipe. Make sure you clean the surface of the tub before you stick on the new button. Let me show you now how the system operates. The left button is the on-off button. The top button will control your speed up or down. Notice how I press and held the button to activate the speed control. And the right button is your wave and pulse mode. For demonstration purposes only, I ran this pump dry. You should never, ever, ever run your Whirlpool pump dry. Just like the old pump, the new pump has a bonding lug as well, and so does the new control box. Make sure these two are both bonded. Like I said earlier in the video, since Underwriters Laboratory is no longer offering that, if you want to maintain a heater with your tub, we suggest this T-style heater that mounts on top of the pump. You can order this system with or without the T-heater. The T-heater will require its own dedicated GFCI protected line, and it will also need to be bonded right here. And that's everything you need to know about installing the new retrofit kit for the 73533-AA Kohler pump. Any questions beyond this video, feel free to give us a call. We are your Whirlpool Tub Parts Authority.